Okay, I'm here. It's happening. Hello. Oh, goddess. Welcome in, Slinky. Happy Sunday, fella. How are we? It is... Bam, bam. It's arcade mode. It's everyone's favourite or second favourite mode. Did I see your message about Steve? Uh, I had a quick glance at something about that, but I don't think I could properly take it in, no. What was you trying to tell me? I'll have a look at it after the stream. What was you trying to tell me? A lot's happened regarding Steve. We all know this. I've got to protect Steve. Well, <laughs> I already do that. What's happening, Top? Happy Sunday, mate. T status got. Slinky's talking about Steve. It wasn't me. So tonight's lineup, this is the lineup, right? We've got Mario The Lost Levels, which is this official sequel to Super Mario Brothers. But in the West we had a different one. Um and then we've got Mega Man 2. And then we've got Metal Slug 2. So it's three epic franchises with three epic second editions. So I'm really looking forward to tonight. First of all, we have got this guy. Mega Man 2 Dawn of the Season Reducing Waterfall in the first level, possibly, yeah. No worries, Sparks. Welcome in, mate. Good luck on the PB. Um, Attempts. T status is got, so that's, as I say, just confirm that. Let me have a quick sip to get us going. Oh, shit, it's a bit hot yet. Ah. Uh. So let's let's do this. The lost levels. No one believes I could do it. No one no one everyone's who's said, What oh, lost levels? At least that's going straight in the fail pool. Blah blah blah. La 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 la. Let's do this. Don't listen to them. Let's get ready. Get ready, fighter. Stop all of that lobby music. Are we ready? No one believes in me. Am I going to allow a save state? Um, only to resume from. If. Yeah, basically. Just remind me of the dream I had the other day. So people competing in Mario Kart for some reason. Got to start watching Sparks. You got to believe. Both of those things are true. Yeah, you got to believe. And you got to start watching Sparks. Get his PBs. You come? Did you come second, Sparks? I couldn't understand that table you posted. Or how to read it. But it looked like your name had a number two next to it. And. As far as I can... Third, sorry. Yeah, it was third. Congratulations. That's amazing. These people look like they knew what, what Mario Kart was all about. And you still said, All right. Anyway, enough waffling. Because we're on a time. Constriction. Majiggity. Uh, reset the game. Look at Mario not moving and shit. Yep. Real life, okay, are we ready? This is it now, this is happening. The timer is started, this is go. Can you hear me? Can you hear the game? Oh shit, I'm gonna die right away. I'm not confident. Oh fuck, I feel so rusty. Audio's fine, great. Okay, cool, thank you. So, as I was saying last time, this is the official sequel to Mario 2, but even though it was present on Mario All-Stars, I didn't play it because my childlike mind rejected it as not being the real Mario 2 that I grew up with. So, I don't know. I know the gameplay because it's the same as Mario 1, but I don't know the levels at all. Literally barely, barely touched it. So it's going to be an exploration as much as anything. 
ref. Come on. That's the I'd like to say that's the al one of the earliest refs that we've had, but it's not. Nowhere near. You've already got lucky with that Koopa Trooper. <laughs> that was pure skill. So we've got a slightly different background graphics. And the, the aim of the game is just survive. Main obstacle so far is the time running out. Come to me. So do we have a good weekend? Anyone been up to anything exciting? I think this could be the end of level one. Oh no. Doesn't bode well. Famicom disc system game, not cartridge. This is true. This is probably also true. It's like the same technically as Mario 1, isn't it? Whether it was compatible. I mean, I think I think Famicom was compatible with NES. Fuzzy Beetle on level 2, that's how you know shit's real. Doesn't the uh, Famicom have a better sound chip? Like, apparently Japanese versions of NES games have an extra channel. Yeah. Something like that. God, I feel so rusty. There's, there's no, no, nothing coming out of this pipe. Oh shit, oh shit. I'm nervous. Anything in any of these? No. Ah. Yep, he's, he's playing. Mario's doing the Half-Life. He's got the Half-Life roller skates on. And it's level two. Level two completed. This kid. Is incredible. I'll say that now and I'll die right away. Touch wood. If I want to see this, I'm going to give you all your bits. Don't worry, I've only got 20 bits left. <laughs> nah, mate, I don't think I will, but I'm going to give it me all. Okay, jellyfish outside of the water. What fresh hell is this? <laughs> Thank you very much, mate. Oh, shit. This is not what I wanted. Oh, God. That was lucky. Oh, it could be the first fire flower. Oh, it is! <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for being a bit snappy uh, on Friday, mate. Especially when I'd beat the scientist and you gave 100 bits as a celebration. I was like, fuck off! <laughs> I genuinely don't mean it, you know that. Just an asshole. But it is appreciated. Oh, level three! Just the one and one after another one. <laughs> when I was in tilt, I was purely tilted. And then the one after another sent me over the edge a bit. Don't get cocky. It is going to get rocky. Okay, so we've got slightly different brick graphics here for the proper connoisseurs. The proper connoisseurs of Mario. These are slightly different brick graphics. Fuck that. Ah. Oh. I knew another one was going to come. Ah.
I'm a shitbag when it comes to Bowser. I always try and jump over him and I touch like the horn on his head or something. Or I run under him and he stamps on me. It always happens. Okay. I'm still alive. That's something. If only you could, like, have a backup item, like, on Mario World. If your velocity's downward, it counts as a stomp. And that wasn't part of the original Mario, was that right? Oh god, I don't like these jumps. Oh, it was? Okay. So is it exactly identical gameplay-wise, then? What the fuck is that? Am I never gonna come- WHAT?! I don't like that, at all. What the hell is going on? You absolute bastard! How do I know when I'm gonna land? Oh, you fucker. I knew it! No! Those trampoline. Okay, already. Already. I'm intimidated. Oh. Can't reach it. It's gone. Fuck. Cautious. So, <laughs> so my bit sparks to be honest. So there was only two Goombas that time, and there was three the other time, and it was the third one that killed me. So really, what happened then? Adaptive AI. So it's just, it's not about being flash, it's not about getting all the coins, it's not about getting all the power-ups, it's about survival. Just survive. Why is the plant immune to the shell? There's more than one ending. The spawn of the enemies is relative to your position. What do you mean? This is a tricky jump. Fuck off! That was upwards velocity. Okay, it's going. It's all going to shit. There's a final level. If you don't die during the final world, you get some more level. Okay. Well, I, if I can beat the final level, that'll do me. I'm not going to expect more than that. And how the screen scrolls, so... Is it because I turned back or something that the third one didn't, sp didn't spawn? Oh! I know, mate. I know. I'm aware. Hello, mate, by the way. Oh! Whoa, that was a high bounce. Does the is the bounce higher? It feels like it is. Come to me. Oh my god. Let us know if there's any goals square. I won't be able to watch, sorry. It's J Oku Lab, J Labson. Prime. Thanks, fella. Alright. What? What am- what am- Okay. F 
fuck you. Can I make that? I don't I don't think I can. Oh god. This is fucked already. Time's running out. Oh, I can't make that. Okay, this level's fucked. Oh yeah, we can go down. Pause on the ledge for a split moment, not what you... I guess I don't know, Slink. <laughs> stuff happened. I remember there was some stuff that happened. When I jumped to me left, did you see how you kind of paused on the ledge for a split moment there? Nah, okay, what do you... Yeah, go on, explain. What about it? I didn't really get onto that. This world record pace, of course. It's certainly the fairest I've ever been. Oh fuck. Don't need jellyfish in the sky right now. Fuck you, I had nowhere to go. The very last tile, you mean? Because you get like an extra spring. An extra slight bit of height to your jump. Continues in this, I bet you there isn't. Next game over, very imminent. I don't like the way these these things cheat so he stays down for a while but if I walk past he'll come up right away oh god Still only one life, so yeah, next game over still imminent. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> this is the absolute worst thing that could happen. No! Hmm. Ok, 
Okay, coins, coins, coins. Ah! What the fuck? This game's brutal. <laughs> Bullet bill down a pipe. What? A warp zone? You what? No. What the fuck? The next that that's game over, mate. gonna be like that is it <laughs> who's Howard Phillips oh isn't there wasn't there a life here there was but have I gone past it yeah Nintendo of America cheer but at least he's being honest. Oh yeah, so that was probably part of the decision. Because the Nintendo of America were the ones who made the decision, weren't they, not to, not to have this game. Reggie! I think maybe for the time, because, you know, Mario didn't fully establish itself as totally world dominant, I don't think. At that time, or, or it had, it was on its way to, but it was still happening. So maybe they just didn't want to jeopardize that. But it should have probably been released after, later on, maybe. Let the American people and, the, and you know, the, the Western world choose for themselves. Yeah, the more older games I play, the more I see that, like, it was how common it was for a sequel to use the exact same skin, uh, the exact same assets, and it'd just be, like, different levels. Which, I don't, doesn't bother me, really. But, I grew up thinking, like, sequels normally would have completely different character graphics and all of that. Yeah, I probably will. What is the fireworks trick? I've never, I've never known it. I know that you can like, if you, it's, it's whatever digit you end on, but I don't know what digit it is. A point score and time left. Yeah, I think it's just your, your, your time has to be on a certain digit or your point, isn't it? Or your points have to be on a certain digit. I think I got 13 out of that. Last coin digit must match the timer, that's it. So, so, it's, it's close. <gasps> Obviously, I'm not going to be paying any attention to that. It's hard enough just staying alive in these time, dark times. Uh, extra life. Ah. 
extra death. <laughs> oh shit. So there's no th on, on Mario Brothers, there's no points equals lives thing, is there? It's just coins. Not gonna be of my benefit to earn more points, I don't think.
Covades. Covades came from a mushroom, I think. Oh shit. So, have any of you ever, like, properly played this? I imagine Sparks has. Because I know he's a big SMB fan. But what about the rest of you? Have you just dabbled with this game? Have you just given it a proper crack of the whip? Has it just been a curiosity to you? Are you like me, where you knew it was on Mario All-Stars, but still didn't really bother with it? You've completely completed this. was a slip of the finger. Oh my god, this is pathetic. That's right. Completely completed this. Beat the All-Stars version, didn't beat the NES version. Gave up after five minutes after dying up two times. So, yeah, Square, you're in the same boat as me. Had a quick go. Just thought, oh, it's this, it's it's Mario 1 again, but harder. Oh, ach, this. That's basically what I thought. Night, but I wouldn't bet my left testicle on finishing this in one in one stream. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that myself. You know, you've got to believe. You've got to have self belief. But let's still be realistic. I'm not going to bet any testicles on me doing it. That would just be idiotic. Once you see that in the arcades, obviously, you and Slinky will have done that, won't you? They took all the trolley stuff from one and put it all together. Nearly always make a bollocks of it. That's not true. Who told you this? Oh, God. No. Alright, so just confirmed that you can, you can eat the... AIDS mushroom when you are invincible and it's okay. So I don't want to go down any pipes ever again now because it might be a fucking warp whistle. Not even a whistle, just a warp. Oh, you fucking twat! <sighs> I had too much to think about then. Does it keep letting you continue? Or do you have a limit? I knew I was going to do that. It does. Oh, it's only a matter of time then. We'll be on Mario USA in no time. Plane sailing ahead, boys. So bad about Q-No-Mate for the obvious night. <laughs> He's pissing himself laughing. Whoa, that red one just went off the edge. Did you see that? The red, the red Cooper just walked off it off the ledge. Not this time. Okay, this time. You 
you fucking bastards! Oh my god. Yeah, but why? Why can the red, like, you know, why can the game mechanics ignore themselves if they want? Too intense for me. Oh, I thought there was not going to be a flag then for a second. Killing himself preferable to be bad. <laughs> Shit, sure. Didn't Jay put a poo mark on the Discord? He's drifting away from us. We're losing him. Oh, first water level. I think we've already... These, these water graphics are considered examined as far as I'm concerned. Look at the different shades of blue that they use to really capture the tones of the water. It's beautiful. Cooper Troopers underwater. Oh god. Ref. Disgusting refereeing. Oh, why does the jump button only listen to you half the time? Hello, Johnny B. Welcome in, fella. Welcome to Lost Levels Hell. There's probably other goodies in that set of blocks, but I just can't take the risk. Oh, no. <laughs> I got a mushroom, so when I fell off the cliff, I should have just been small. When you continue as well, it takes you back to level one of the world, doesn't it? Hey, rules. Rules are made to be broken. Except for the computer's rules. Flower is big, big shield in this game. Oh, I thought it was gone. That was nice of the game. Not you again. Easy mode hack confirmed. Fuck, don't tell anyone. Touched me shoe. Oh, see? This is proper game design. They know that if a piranha plant touched the underside, the undersole of your shoe, it wouldn't be fatal. Miyamoto knew this. He understood this intrinsically from being a boy when he first went into that cave and learned about Zelda. One of the, uh, One of the rats that he discovered in his little adventure happened to brush against his shoelace and he, he, he was like, I'm still alive. And unfortunately, the, the team at Naughty Dog didn't quite learn this lesson in the same way. Or the people at Ubisoft. Or the people at Sega. Oh, 
I want to get the coins because I know I need the light. Well, actually, see, I'm thinking of it a bit differently now. Now I know it's infinite continues. I can think of it. I can take. I don't have to take as many risks for coins. Because on Mario 1, it was basically like a war of attrition. I had to build up as many lives as I could to get through the hard levels. And every single level I was on, I had to try and take every opportunity to build lives. But if I've got infinite continues, I don't have to think like that. Go and visit that mystical cave. I mean, let's be honest. Who wouldn't want to visit that mystical cave where, you know, the dreams of Zelda were spawned? Mario 1 had the up A controller 2 trick. Was that only... Oh, I've never seen these graphics before. Was that... Didn't you only get one continue from that, though? Or could you just keep going? Discovered Zelda. Yeah, well... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to face later, but I'm not as worried now. Maybe that's more, maybe that's the wrong way to feel, but I'm just not. I don't like the way he comes down. Shit. No, oh, I'm... Phantom input. Don't need them. No desire to have them. Don't know what they're there for. See, it's not there now. Urgh. No framed. What's that mean? Sounds like an expert speedrunner kind of term. Never want to take a pipe ever again. So those do exist. I'm not going insane. What do the... Why would that happen? Whose idea was this? See, it happened then. It's just happened. Bastards. Why would that be a thing? Maybe it's a, a, a bug? Just a hangover from the legacy... Ref. He seems to bounce a little bit higher, or maybe I'm just imagining it. He has a memory address space. Interesting. That particular Koopa Trooper can fuck right off. It's mad how, how, how the old games, the space was so tight that they could account for like every single more or less bite and what it was doing and where it should be and... Fascinating stuff. Maybe I do need to um, build up lives just so I can get through a single world. Boop, 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 boop,
Jay, I'm gonna have to ban you for that, Jay. Sorry. You do know the rules by now. When developers get tongue and cheek about it, I don't remember that. Mm. What boss, as in like the, the boss of them as a variable? Or like the boss of the level? Boss of the game. <laughs> oh shit. What a fucking idiot. Oh. If I fuck this world up now after a stupid death like that, then I'm just a bad person. The green Cooper Trooper, is he gonna walk off the ledge? Is he gonna stay on the ledge? I mean, we've already seen the red one break the rules. Who knows what's gonna happen? Landed exactly on the coins, mate. Intentional. Tom, tell them, mate. It's the game. It's the game breaking the rules, not me. I'm good. I don't break the rules. Also, welcome in and happy Sunday. Good seeing you. And I hope you're well. I think I'm right in saying that you were a PC Master Race guy as well, aren't I? So did you not grow up with Mario? Or did you? This was a mushroom? Okay. PC masturbation race. Well, that's even worse. Oh my god. So is this one of those levels where you've got to take a particular path? I think mm, maybe not. That's just nice. What was the uh, what was the purpose of that? Oh, it Robo Cross. Okay. I think you maybe try the bottom and then the middle and then the top. Oh god. Referee, you're a fucking bullshit liar, and I don't like you. There's a particular path through here that I've got to figure out. Sonic and Knuck Knuckles. Listen, I'm going to lose me shit really, really quickly if I keep getting phantom inputs on the jump. I'm hitting it well before I'm even near the ledge and it's just just absolute stonewalling me. F 
Fuck. See, it's it's got me tilted already. It's it's threw me off me off me game. If you if you're playing a pla platformer and you can't bank on jump, then you start to question, you know, what else is not real? What else is not gonna help? Does me mum even love me? Do, will I have a home? All of these things start to run through your head. If you can't rely on a jump in a platformer. Get it together. Get it together. It would have been nice to just pick the easy option every time, Slink. Obviously, of course it would. The glory of choosing the easy game every time. Think about it. Look at that. Think about all of that glory that we could have just chosen for ourselves instead of earning. But it doesn't work like that. Shut up, Nightbot. Never turn into a cute therapy session. What are you on about? Also, thanks for the bits, Slink. They never turn into a cute therapy section. Certainly don't. <laughs> it's the opposite of therapy. It's like reintroducing trauma. I've got tea. All right, I'm going to do this level and I'm drinking this me tea. And if I drink me tea before the castle level, I might be able to do it. status remembered for now. Remembered as a temporary state. I hate the way if you bang your head it means you definitely lose health. Just bang your head and don't bang it like all the way down to the bottom. Just bang it and go down a little bit. You don't have to literally touch the floor because you banged your head. He's freezing. Mm. That's disgusting. Brilliant. T status freeze. <laughs> Life status not going well. Disgusting. Yeah. Ah, I will, but I can't right now. Nuka T. Tommy. I knew it was going to give me a less of a jump. Oh my god. I'm going to write a letter to Miyamoto. I had enough height on the jump to get up to the box, to the blocks, but because I collected an item, I lost all my momentum. No need. I don't mind microwave tea. It's not as nice as a fresh cup. But, um... It's still nice. Miyamoto's gonna laugh at you. Well, I'm gonna be laughing at him. Learn how to code a game. Coder of one of the most famous, popular games, best-selling games ever made. Learn how to code. <laughs> From someone who never made a game. What's saying things like what microwave and tea is okay? It's, I mean, it's not ideal. But if a kitchen cup of tea goes cold, I'm not going to abandon it completely. I'm going to drink it and I'll do what needs to be done to, you know, to, to ensure that I can. No tea left behind. And I think that's more patriotic and more respectful to the tea. 
Although, it would be nicer if I didn't need to microwave it at all and just stayed warm. Just normal tea. Um, I think it's PG. Or it might be Tetley. Wow! A lot of momentum in these waves. A lot. Yorkshire's good as well. Just a brand sling. <laughs> ah. Whoa! So I just glitched through the block there. This has not been tested as much as SMB. It's a bit loose. Around the edges you've got Koopa Troopers walking off ledges. You've got going inside blocks. You've got phantom jumps. Like Lipton? No. If you get too close to the bottom of the water, all jump inputs get ignored. Don't see why. Isn't Lipton like the iced tea ones? Whoa, I don't have speed, speed run strap then. Got an extra jump off, uh, turn and direction into the side of the pipe. Where did he come from? That, that, this thing hasn't had, a, hasn't had a plant every time I've been on this level, it didn't. I've just got to tell myself that nothing is going to be fair, nothing is going to be consistent, and that it's trying to test me, and I've got to accept that the rules of the game are that the rules can change. Not in Kansas anymore. See, look, there's no plant. See, I'm not going mad. Where's the plant? It's not there. It doesn't exist, but it's just killed me on the last life. Fucking hell. Proper sanity test. AIDS code thing, I'm writing to Miyamoto. I'm gonna say, learn how to code. I know you made the most popular video game probably ever made and everything, but you need to go back to school and learn how to code. He didn't even do the code, did he? He just did the, the assets and like the game design. Well, that's horrible. Sprites that, that only spawn. Despite enemies that only appear if you kill certain other enemies, that's horrible. That's the stuff of nightmares. It's making me think, what enemy should I not kill? I fuck myself here. Oh, incredibly clutch. Lipton isn't tea, it's a soft drink. Tell him, Tom. Yeah, you said that before, Sparks, but I still don't get what you mean. So, like, you can make enemies not spawn by what? By scrolling the screen in some different way? How do you make the screen scroll in a different way? You can only go right. Or is it the number of enemies on the screen when you scroll it right? As like Jay's saying, a sprite limit.
I haven't had fireworks once, that's how good I am. get a mushroom, then I can get a fire flower, and then I die. That's the pattern so far. Let's try going bottom, then me middle. Ref. Ref. Top, middle, bottom. Bottom. The way out of this level don't exist. And the jump button as well doesn't exist. Alright, well that was Mario Lost Levels. God. Bad enough that they've got enemies coming out of every corner. But taking your jump away from you, or at least making the jump be a coin toss each time you press it. Who thought of that? Just give me a sec, gang. Thirty deaths, very not respectable. go. So it did you do I try top top yeah I did. I tried top all the way, I tried bottom all the way, I tried bottom middle top and I tried top middle bottom. But there is still a few variants there. Um okay so now moving on to Mega Man 2 which I've never played before. That's blind and it's part one of Mega Man 2, and then after that, it's Metal Slug 2. After Mega Man 2, though, about 10 o'clock, it's nominations. So, get your caps on for that, if you want to nominate. And Slinky, you can nominate, because this wasn't really your your choice that you intended. And um, everyone can nominate, basically. There's no one who can't this time. Quit nominating games blind. Well, you can nominate games that you, you know, that you like, mate. Doesn't have to be games that you don't know about. No, listen to this.
So what was the story then? I missed that because I was I was tweaking stuff. Category, category. Check my last nom and it's got 11 hours of content. Total. That's not, that's, that's too far. Can we make that come up again? Because I didn't read it. Let's reset the game. 1988. What about this? So what's our story with this game, guys? What, what, are we familiar with it and have we played it? In the year of 2000X, something something Mega Man was created. Dr. Light created Mega Man. To stop the evil desires of Dr. Wily. So Dr. Wily was the enemy from Mega Man 1. However, after his defeat, Dr. Wily created eight of his own robots to counter Mega Man. Look at those horizon graphics. Look at that scenery. Absolutely magical. Look at how big this building is. And he's got his ha he's got his helmet off. So is he a human or is he a robot? Why is his hair blowing in the wind? It's sending mixed messages. It's been over 10 years. It's been more than 10 years, isn't it? What are you talking about? So we're going on normal, obviously, because I'm not a masochist. These games are already hard. There's normally an optimal order. I don't want to look at an optimal order up. I know a lot of people say, do Metal Man first because you get the best weapon and then you can take on the rest of the game, but that's just super cheesy, so I'm going to just kick, and we'll see how we go. They said it was 2000. <laughs> very funny, very funny. Let's do quick, man. Let's, let's give quick, man, a go. Quick, man. You get some good music. Time I go. We are live. Oh, God. This is the wrong level. Should not have picked this level. Because it's impossible. Already fucked it. It can't be done. This level. This is before they had the, the super buster, where you can charge, and it's also before they had the slide move. Good evening, walk. Welcome. Hello. Hope you're good. Happy Sunday. We've just been playing Mario The Lost Levels badly. Oh, shit. Oh, yep, there it is. This whole credit's going to go on that room, because it's impossible. Or maybe you just need some of his other powers to do it. Because I have been on this level before. I've dabbled on this game, but I've ne never really got very far. But I've been on this level before, and I've never got past this, this section. Because it's impossible. Let's see. Yes, Slinky. Hey, Slinky. Oh, my God. I turned left one pixel before I should have. Kate has done his hamstring heavy. 
Kato started playing well yet? He's got potential, but I've, I always just see him lose the ball. Oh! No, we're not doing this again. Exit. How do we exit? We didn't, we didn't, we didn't design that. Can't exit. I always feel like he's got a threat, but then he always makes the wrong decision on the on the final um, his final move is always the wrong decision. Have I seen the Mega Man cartoon? I actually haven't. You know, is it good? Is it anime? This is considered. By a lot of people to be the best Mega Man game. Oh my god. This is worse than that section on the turtles. What a level to pick first. <laughs> Do it, Slink. I'm not afraid. I'm petrified. Extra life, just what I didn't want. Oh, you can't. You just can't. It can't be done. I've never played Battletoads, I've heard many a story about how hard it is, but I've never played it. Is Battletoads Codemasters? Rare, sorry. See that's So you can't go left there, you've got to go right. Don't continue. Stage select, thank god. Let's give Woodman a go. Airman. Are any of these going to give me an item? Actually, is there an Iceman? There's no Iceman. Let's just go Bubble Man, eh? Hey. Epilepsy. Epilepsy, old friend. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, shit. So, yeah, the Mega Man games, the first... I've only played the first one. I've completed the first one, like, twice or three times. I've never played the second one. Really? And then that's that's it. But people say the second one is the best one. Or or a lot of people say the second one's the best one. A lot of my jumps are getting ignored here, you know. I'm wondering is it the emulator? D-pad. If you press jump, the D-pad is not involved. And apart from the D-pad, I think the Xbox controller is pretty good. Okay, I don't know. Am I supposed to go down? Even when you pause the game, if you're thinking like, oh... This epileptic fit's getting a bit too heavy. I need to pause for a second. You pause and it's still going. At least we've progressed past like the second screen.
while you examine these water graphics. Wow! Look at these water graphics! Go, oh, pressed it. Look, you done it again. Ah, you broke the matrix. Anyway. <laughs> it's the same level of, of detail in the water graphics as we added Mario. Just one colour. Oh shit. No, I didn't. Wow. So when you jump underwater, it's not like Mario, he doesn't swim. He can just jump really high. So, this is the Mega Man underwater controls. Slightly different. Good music though. about to say next to Death Eminem, but you didn't, though, Slinky, so you didn't. Enjoy the pain, enjoy the death, enjoy the... Enjoy the music. Big Fish isn't there no more. the death though you can't even metal bones yeah that's true well they are in this case apparently but the other tricky thing is that like the spikes are insta kill lads Still with the Buster. S Super Buster is it called? Mega Buster. That's our only weapon to date. And that's one of the things that interests me about the Mega Man series is that each game you get all different weapons, you have all different bosses. Frog graphics, frogs are people too. Here's a boss, I think. We're getting close to a boss. Next death, death of the imminent. It's mega, mega freaking scuba bubble man. Let's go! Oh Christ. Glenn? No. Please, no. No, it wasn't. B gets equipped with bubble le lead. Bubble lead. Bubble, bubble lead. Bubble lead. Thank you very much. For the 10 bits, Slinky. I always believed in us. Lead can't be good for you, I don't know. That's what I mean. Alright, let's try wood, man. Not like that kind of wood, man. So now we can switch. This looks like this looks like double dragon on the NES. Now we've got 
bubble power. He changes suit and he shoots bubbles that do that. And uh, wouldn't you know it, the bubble, the um, your new weapon, the enemies are impervious. Zelda 2, that would be one, that would be fun to stream. It's got some good tunes, and good rabbits. Uh, you always say that. I mean, everything triggers me so hard, so yeah, you're right. But still, I'd like to do it. I might let me challenges chew me up and spit me out, but I still, I still enjoy them. What is this, an Amiga game? Why am I going, why is it separate streams? Is this the Amstrad? Okay, this is not going that well. Any health there, mate? I think these are all meant to be robots, Tom. They're not. It's sort of. It's got the got the idea before Sonic did. Um, and you'll see a lot of Sonic-like looking enemies if you keep an eye out. But I think these are not really animals. They're robots. Loads of stuff off them eggs. I don't know what I'm supposed to do except for like kill the babies so I can get health back. Probably true, probably yeah. Ah, he's shooting carrots. Keep those for yourself, buddy. It's a recession. Oh Christ. Whoa. Oh, he's held slow. This would be the first proper death because you can't count that shit show with the lava as a proper death, even though you will. Anticipation. Is this a boss? Why do we get the bubble out? I wonder if Leafman likes bubbles. Oh god, Topoid. Do you reckon Leafman likes bubbles? Whoa. He just laughs at bubbles. Yeah, you're right. See ya. So, we've learned something today about science. Wood is not weak to bubbles. Jesus Christ. Well, we just didn't know. The scientific community was divided on it. Okay, you just spam them. You, if you, if you just uh, blast them a lot. That's kind of disappointing, really. I didn't need to figure out how to beat him. I could just spam attack, and eventually I got him. W. Get, get equipped with leaf shield. This is meant to be easier than Mega Man 1, and it's proving so at the moment. We'll do 
Air Man, and then I'll do Metal Man. Air Man. demons. Can you see them as well? Let's carry on with that. And also, I'm sure I saw these assets on Crash Bandicoot. from Japanese game shows. I am blind, stop being aimless. Oh, that explains why you keep watching that. Well, keep turning up to the stream, actually. Oh god. Oh, that's not too bad. Nice of these clouds to have uh, propellers underneath. Otherwise, would have been fucked. Uh, he hasn't got the biggest jump. It's not like a Mario jump where you can hold one and then guarantee a nice long one. You've got a sort of fixed jump size. Oh god, and the enemies respawn. I forgot about that. What I'm interested in about Mega Man is, is when you get to like the Mega Man X series and then the DS ones and that, the story starts to get kind of dark and kind of like advanced or detailed and I just can't see how they're going to do that with Mega Man, <laughs> like what is going to happen. Some sort of proto-dystopia future happens but like he's got hair that, that you know, that blows in the wind. Is he a robot? Is he a human? He looks like a human. With a helmet on. Here somehow? Oh. No. <laughs> Another boss already? These levels seem much shorter than Mega Man 1. I'm still on like... Yeah, let's see if Airman likes bubbles. Topoid for science. Do you think Airman likes bubbles? bothered about bubbles. I can't get near him to fucking fire one. Okay, yeah, he's immune to bubbles. Let's try wood. I got a leaf. Oh, he didn't like that. What? I 
I hit him twice with leaves. He must have got all caught up in his, his fan in, in his chest. Okay, so what we've learned there, top boy, write this down. This is science. We both died at the same time. I don't think I did die. Um, or did I? Was it? <laughs> Item 2 completed. Get your weapons ready. Get equipped with item 2. Alright, so let's do Metal Man. And let's have a look at our, our, our weapons. Such levels of cheating, mate. Oh, look at all of these background graphics. 1987. Um, so I've got my regular bus there. What's this? A. Ah, so that's the wind weapon. That the last guy had. Pretty much useless in most scenarios, I'd imagine. But then in certain these cases, very useful. Sorry, 88. Slink. Mega Man 1 was 87. My bad. This was 88. Came out in the West in 89, I think. But it was 88 Japan. So we've got that one. A. I don't know what A stands for. A spinny wind thing. And then we've got W, which is leaves. Obviously, leaves begins with W. Then we've got B for bubble. So they know how to spell bubble, at least. We've got another page. Two. Oh, it's the hoverboard thing. Oh, what's this? A for air. <laughs> Man, I was on this level on Crash Bandicoot. I think I was, and I see this, this, these spikes there, right there from Castlevania. Ow! Except in Castlevania, they kill you right away. <laughs> oh, throwing shade on Crash Bandicoot's graphics, which I thought were very good, actually. Yeah. Ow, and then take it away. The drill giveth and the drill taketh away. Throwing Gorod. <laughs> I mean, my understanding of Gorod polygons is based on PlayStation Magazine, so if it wasn't technically correct their fault, it's Rob Pegley's fault. Wow, this is fun. Get, are you talking? Oh, you must be talking to the console. And I, I agree with those sentiments because, yeah, I, I pressed jump. The game ignored me like a smooth brain. Pressed jump with loads of time to go. It was about 10 frames before the edge of the ledge. What a smooth brain the game is. Again. 
Put this. Big brain. Oh. Now I don't know what to expect. I like the background graphics for a NES game, that's quite... Oh shit, I take everything back, I'm sorry. Oh god. Jay, why'd you do it, mate? Why'd you do it? Ah, Zelda, man. Welcome in, pal. Enjoy Mega Man 2. It's blind. I've never played it before, really. I'm doing okay, though. I mean, it might not look like, but... I'm on my fourth weapon. The Man of Mega. And speaking about someone else entirely, what's up, Q? <laughs> what's happening, Retro? You alright, mate? Have you played... Oh, look, there's an E-thingy-majig. Can I... Okay, let me think about this. I am, yeah. Ah. Oh, yes. So I've got two of those now. What do they mean? What does that mean? What do you mean, hard to tell? Oh, I've run out of this. I've run out of energy for it. Fuck, I'm dead. the one series you can't get into. I've never really played the, any of them except for like one. So this is I'm, this is where I'm up to in the series is two. But I, I do like it, you know. It's more of a run and gun than a, than a straight up platformer. I think I'm dead. I had the, I've got the Mega Man collection for the Switch and for the PC. And I would recommend them, definitely. I think on the first one you get like six Mega Man games. Mega Man 1 to 6 all on one, one collection. And I love collections, so the fact that there's six of them in itself made me want to play them. Just to compare. Mega Man DOS. When did Mega Man DOS come out? Alright, I've got the E thing. I don't need to do that again. It's boss time. Is it its own game or is it just like a, a port of, the ne of a NES one? Because I know that the Mega Drive got the first three. Ported, but with updated graphics. Um, right, let's just check with what we've got. We've got air. We've got leaves. We've got bubbles. And that's it for weapons. Wind. Leaves, bubbles. It's its own game. Is it done by Capcom or is it like an... Uh, is it AIDS? This is Metal Man. What would Metal Man be most vulnerable to? Bubble. Or leaves. Okay. Is everyone immune to Bubble? He's immune to leaves as well. What about wind? He's immune to wind. Close. 
high tech expressions, eh? Definitely sound like LGN or someone then. What's happening, Hype Train? Welcome in. Am I a top 10 citizen? Well, tell me what you mean by top 10 first. Only 13. <laughs> No, I didn't turn on easy hacks. Don't start spreading false information. This is hard mode. This is legit. It's Karas. <laughs> the words of Karas. Get equipped with Metal Blade. Okay, so that's apparently the best weapon in the game. And it changes the gameplay of Mega Man from all the other games in the series. Because now it's sort of like Contra. You can aim diagonal up, left, right, down. Let's do Heat Man. Let's do everything except Quick Man. So, now we've got the metal. I am sure he could well be. So, look, this is the metal one, and it's. I can shoot off, I can shoot diagonal. So now it's just like a regular run and gun. Changes the gameplay. Everyone who plays Mega Man 2 says you should get Metal Man first. And then the rest of the game's easy. But it hasn't been that hard anyway. Now it's hard because I'm playing terrible. Next fire graphics imminent. Well, there's lava, I think it's meant to be lava. Feels a bit cheap using this weapon. Doesn't feel like Mega Man. But you get a lot of energy power ups, so it'd be foolish to not do. Oh, he tried to have me. Okay, these are immune. Look at the background bricks. Brick graphics. Oh, my eyes just went funny. Oh, this shit again. This was in Mega Man 1. Ugh. That's why I'm a pro at it. trick is, you jump before it's appeared. Do you remember the counting I was doing on Crash Bandicoot 1? Yeah, it's like that. Ah! Chicken in the wall? What? Firmino has actually scored a goal. Well done, lad. I believed in you all the time. Never stop. Oh, this is not going good. Here we go. Ooh. Never. Don't know what to expect. Don't know what's coming. Hey. Next death imminence. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. 
So I want to try and do it legit before I take the hoverboard. Ref. Thanks, game. Come on, I've got things to do. Ah. Me hacks are causing the game to... Those hacks that I didn't install. Phantom hacks. If anyone has installed any hacks, mate, it's the Quantum. AIDS Peter. Oh, come on, that was a frame away. It just moves it to the right. If you jump perfectly, it moves them so that you're not on them anymore. Did you see that? Didn't do it that time. That to just fly across if it keeps being full of AIDS. Definitely full of AIDS. Let's time it <coughs> and let's count it. Why did it ignore me jump inputs? I don't know, Jay. I honestly couldn't tell you the answer to that. I don't think it should have. I don't think it's right that it did. Highly recommended. Mega Man 2, fantastic. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Back to AIDS camp. Absolutely sabotaged. Why is it changing me? Me weapon. Heads, his head's like a 50p. If the corner of his head touches a pixel, stop moaning. It is fun with these metal, with this metal weapon, but it just doesn't feel like Mega Man. It feels like Contra. Some sort of Commodore 64 version of Contra where you'd have to aim the joystick in the direction of your shot. Oh, 
Oh yeah! This is where we're supposed to be. Ref. <sighs> Still only on this jump sequence? I'll get there. I think the life oh, only appears once. Once you've collected it, it's gone. So I, I don't... I could have escaped it though. If the jump that I'd pressed had worked, I should have ended up on the next block. Well, we can shoot twice now. I'll Mega Man one. He shot once. Okay, I'm learning things all the time. Oh, it's the boss, and I've got no health. Can I use that? Is, do I? If I flip, select it, will it fill me health? I, I probably want to save it. Full time, three 0 Happy days. If, if bubbles don't work against fireman, then they're completely useless. Okay, game over. Let's go back to metal. Surprised how much it gives you, like, it gives you a lot of. Wow, see, it's trying to cheat man. It gives you a lot of weapon, ammo type of thing. I'll leave that behind. <laughs> I've decided to just treat life like a fever dream. It's a lot, a lot easier. Saying I can't get that with the dog. With the dog on my side. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do it. I'm 
completed it, mate. Master of the universe, they call me. Whoa, three bullets. Ooh. Cheat. <laughs> Using, literally using the items that the game provides you with. Cheat. If bubbles don't have fireman, then fuck, what is the world? User cheats. I'm just an honest, upstanding guy who wants to play video games. Oh, he doesn't like bubble. But I don't like him. In a bit. Buy a graphics, man. Find and examine fire graphics, man. Phew, I did examine them. I did? They were fiery. What have I got? Get equipped with... Oh, another message from Dr. Light is his name. Where, where's my phone? There it is. Cheating at his quest. Item 1 completed. I've got item 1. But after I got... I already had item 1. No, I had item 2. I'm getting myself mixed up, sorry. Get equipped with item 1. Flashman. Look at all these graphics. So this is H. Oh, that's the fire. Oh, I can sort of... Oh, I can charge it. Okay, so that's where they got the idea from. A, it's experimentation. So... Where's me? Wait, where's me? E things gone? Is that because I had to, I used a different continue? That's an absolute fucking stitch up if it is. You're a knob. The game's a knob, and you're a knob. So I got to keep me weapons, but not me E canisters. Bit of a uh, contradiction in logic there, Mr. Slinky. Okay, so we've got an up platform and a side platform. Okay. Look at the graphics. Look at those graphics. Not like that, Sparks. Why? What did I say? Ah. Uh. Flashman. <laughs> Hey, look, this is that level on Mario Lost Levels. It's the exact same level, except on this one. It doesn't repeat forever. Oh, I want it. Isn't this the music of the turtles? ammo then and I didn't pick it up. I like the ice graphics, I think they're quite good. Oh, it's 
take that. I have examined those ice graphics thoroughly. I think, even though they, they look like they've got disco lights behind them, I think it's just the light. It's just the way the light shines. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. So you have to go left. Yeah. I'm dead. Game in cheat mode. What's new? You'd have to go left to give the enemy space to put down his shield, but as soon as you do go left, his, his clone respawns. That's what I call game in cheat mode. These levels are really short, I think. Oh, look at those brick graphics. Does it like metal? Yeah, mate, I was fully aware of that. That's why I only shot a few times. Time stopper. Met another message from Dr. Light. He needs to upgrade. He's, hope he's got a good um, mobile data plan because he's sending enough messages here. Does he send them as group messages? He's one of them people where you you look, you read and blank him, and then the next time you look at your phone, he's sent you another one, and then you read and blank that, and you've got a third one. Get equipped with item three. Crash man. Should it be like a limit of how many credits I use? Oh, this music. Freeze, I can freeze everything with purple dude. Isn't this the DuckTales theme? I don't think it is. What's item 3 do? What's the difference between that and item 2? Oh, I see. Weird. When it touches a wall, it will then go up, similar to item one or two. Did I just do a double shot? I feel like it's well too generous with the ammo with this metal one. Stop shouting at me. Talk like this to all your friends. <laughs> I can believe it, actually. And spreading lies about them as well. What was it? Your lies were spewing spreading about easy hack mode. The friends we made along the way. Oh, oh, I will come back for that. So you can just randomly get an extra life when you're killing shit, I guess.
What are those characters? Oh, those are smileys. Is that a sad face? Don't be sad, Snooky. No. What? What? What are you doing? I can't even hear the music. You know. Welcome in, mate. Thank you so much for the subscriptions. To the gift subs. Johnny and Tom enjoy. Cheers, mate, but I'm still gonna try and do 100. I could hardly hear the music then, though, could you? Why did that fall off? <laughs> you know! Don't do it, man! What a legend. Thanks very much, you know, that's very kind of you. What a guy. What a literal leg end. The end of a leg. Well, we're gonna be doing Metal Slug 2 after, but it's nominations at 10. Oh, cheers, mate. That, that means a lot, it really does. But your stream's epic as well, and you know, just needs a little bit more time running. You'll be up there. Did you complete this? You know, have you, is this a childhood game for you? Because this is blind for me. <laughs> ah, got you. I was so far. I mean, I've beaten Mega Man 1 a couple of times. I would say Mega Man 2 is, I'm finding a lot easier so far. But, oh god. Famous last words. I want it. The music's good though, isn't it? I think this one's more like... I don't know what the phrase I'm looking for. Not stupid hard. Yeah, it does. It's still got that NES difficulty. There was oh, the first level I went on was um, the one where you're falling and have to avoid the the lava shooting out of the sides, and that that was a that was a fail. Just like this is a fail. First living act to just try and destroy me. My first living act is to destroy them. No, the first act, the first interaction on it on this planet is, is to get killed by me. Less than a second. <laughs> Is this the one that goes vertically up? Why wait, Slinky? Are you going to tell me something that I'm going to regret that you told me? Big brain stuff, Slink. Don't you, you wouldn't understand. Oh, 
got all of this extra one health that I didn't have before. Why can't I collect them if it's on the ladder? That's not fair. Boo. Huh? <laughs> well, I mean, you get health. I, I collected loads of health, it fell on me, but it just didn't count for some reason. Why are you getting so tilted? I've never seen such smooth brain comments. Let's have a fight. Oh, you can collect it on the ladder. Oh, was that one not on the ladder? Okay, so when you get a lift out, you can't change your weapon until afterwards. Until after the, the platform has disappeared. That could, that could be dangerous. Because you can make yourself defenseless. Swear on me, mum, Slink. I'll bash your fucking head in. That's what I'm after. Careful with that language, young man. People might not know that you actually love the puffs. Right, so this is drill man. Okay, so he's metal is immune. Uh, let's try fire. Oh, this is freeze, sorry. Begins with F. He froze and then I couldn't wait. <laughs> so when I freeze, when I use freeze, time stops, but I can't change weapon. So is it just to save your skin and get yourself out of a situation? Yeah, but it wouldn't let me it wouldn't let me change weapon once I'd used freeze. Until the power had, had, had run out. So it's to get yourself out of a scrape, I suppose. Okay, he's tricky. Possible to dodge me? Fucking hell. Wherever I am, that's where the, gr the grenade will be. And I've run out of fire.
Oh, maybe a different weapon. And we've got. I don't see that doing any any good. But let's give it a go. Oh, whoa! Well, that's cheap as anything, but he's been obliterated there. Get equipped with Crash Bomber. So it's only Quick Man left. We're on stage eight. So it's the level that we started off dying on. Is where we are now. Oh, we got the jamming music again at least. And now we can reach this extra life. Oh, it's beautiful. So, Crash Bomber. Okay. So, is that me full weapon set except for whatever this guy's got? I think it is. Back up. I don't think I can. Pretty certain I can't. like Crash Bandicoot, isn't it? That light. That level with no light. God. Oh, fuck. Not possible. Just not humanly possible, mate. Slinky, I'm going to ban you in a minute. I'll do worse. I'll mute you. You'll still be here. But you'll be muted. Okay, so you can't go right and you can't go left. can cheer all you like. The cheering is fine. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, so it's not that. Link, I get that you know what to do already. I don't care, okay?
So I wonder if they go away again after they've appeared. Because I don't, I haven't seen them go away. I've only seen them appear. And if they stay, then it doesn't matter what platform I'm on. They're still going to be there. That bit is, is the worst bit. Because if you go right, you can't go left. It's too far. But if you go right, you've got to be pixel perfect. Good boy. Possible. Not possible. so bad. Um, AIDS isn't so bad. Well, yeah. I, but I would I would say AIDS is bad. I, w I can probably fire something at the AIDS, but on the other Mega Man, you had like an ice weapon. And on this one... Ice. What's the... Oh, freeze? Oh, yeah. I've got freeze. Forgot about that. It just like make it up okay you can die doesn't it just use all of it in one go though we'll have to find out what time is it 20 minutes till nominations get them caps on Get your ideas. If you can't be here for 10 o'clock, throw your nomination into chat now. For it to be considered. Oh god, I've not. I've done it too early. Lifesaver. <laughs> oh really? I'll have to give that a try.
now can you be banned? No, because that's 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 uh, game mechanics, mate. That, that that's that's fine. Oh, I've got none. I've got no energy. Ah, oh, and I had I just found energy on the floor and didn't pick it up. I'm fucked. If that first jump isn't perfectly right. Absolutely. That's well too far, yeah. Because then you're telling me that I can do it with an item rather than having to get through with just skillful jumps. You're telling me that what I'm trying to do is wrong and to stop. You're changing my approach to the problem. But in terms of game mechanics, it's not always clear how these things are supposed to be used. I think I might end up, I might start listening to you on that one. So let's try, well, let's save it to the right moment and then try. Minecraft, he's just, have you been on Minecraft lately? I haven't been on it for, for a few weeks, like. You want to get Evo Dev Team on it? And you know, and Sparks and everyone, get everyone on it. Yet I haven't been on it for weeks, like. But we're never going to get to Super Mario Brothers 2 USA. There's some Star Wars DLC or something on, on Minecraft. Oh god. Are they going the Fortnite route of just like bringing in all kinds? <laughs> you never forget your first. Is it like that? No, it doesn't. It doesn't stop, Slink. It carries on. Can't stop it. So I've got to get through the whole section. So I've got to basically not use it on the first section and save it for the second section. God, I did it. So I could get right to the end bit anyway without it. It was just the last bit that I couldn't do. Oh my God, what's going on here? The game can't even handle how many things it's drawn. Yeah, I'd only dabbled in Switch really before I started streaming. I streamed a couple of times on and off myself, but I never really watched other streamers or found other streamers I could get on with until I began to get stuck in myself. So this guy, what's his name again? Quick Man? Okay, he's not that bothered about air. care about leaves, bubbles, do you like bubbles? He doesn't care about bubbles. Do you like fire? He's not particularly a fan of fire, but he's not that bothered. What's him again? Metal. Dead. Ok, 
Okay, he's immune to metal. Let's try the bomb. <laughs> you're fine, Slinky, don't worry. As, as long as you're not backseating. Or making me feel a fool for not getting it first time, just because you already know. As long as you're not doing that, I don't mind. You're fine. What does me? It fucking solved it, mate. It does really annoy me, not when you in particular, but what when anyone comes in and because they played the game as a kid about 300 million times and know it, and because it's my first time and I don't know it, they talk to you like you're an absolute fucking idiot. And that makes me just think, like, if you really think that we're equivalent, then you're the idiot. But. Oh. Q, get equipped with quick boomerang. Jay's idiot confirmed. Look, there's J Labs. J Lab, J Labs, and then his UFO that he's been designing in Laser Labs for years. Whoa. Whoa. There's a map screen on his level? I thought I was. I, I, I thought there'd be a few levels left, because there is on Mega Man 1, but I didn't think it would be a whole map screen. What are you telling me to shut up for? Never speaking ever again. I've never heard this tune. Although that was never intentional. Mate, it's a blind playthrough. I don't know what that means to you. I personally don't know the game video game tunes for games I haven't played. I'm not that much of a nerd. The video game tunes that I, I like are, ga are games that I have played. But, um, and yeah, that's Slinky, that one. Oh, fuck. That tension moment, I never intended if my mic for a phone was muted. What's. But it, it, it was. It worked out okay. radio station back home as a show that's all about video game music. That's the kind of content I want. Like if there was a radio station like that, I would listen to it. I don't listen to the radio. Because there's no video game music. I remember once I had the Tetris theme on the radio as a kid and I was over the moon. Nice on the later Mega Man ones, the way you can change your uh, Do you know what I mean? You can, you can, and, and it's good. You can change your weapon without going to the menu is what I'm trying to say. Can I destroy this at all? Oh, 
Oh, yes, you can. Okay. What's Q? Boomerangs. Nice. The arcade is no longer airing. Rip. I'm not having a good time here. Bastards. The boomer then always goes back to where it's... Oh, Slinky, with wit like that, you're wasted in a channel like this, mate. You could, you could conquer the world. Anyone played... Slay the Spire. Don't think I've even heard of it, mate. What kind of system is it on? What kind of game is it? Road like a like card battle game. Eight, five minutes till nominations. get up that way. You've got to go the ladder. And you can't. Thanks, Jay. He's very clever with that tiny, 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 tiny brain of yours. Look, it's back. See? Big brain knew better. So there's the one that you can throw. That one lasts a lot longer, actually. What, I didn't even need it. I just needed a pixel, a frame perfect, pixel perfect jump. It is a good tune. I'm just not familiar with it. I love it when you got two melodies that sort of coalesce.
If I throw... No, no, not that one. Fuck off. If I throw this one, what happens? Okay, it just, it just gets off. Um. Okay, I see what I've got to do. Not like that. I can only let you do three at once. Now I need more ammo. Jump. The jump input ignored me, so it's it's fucked itself. Mega Man, you've been finished. So time one thirty seven twenty four deaths. 20, no, 34, and stage 8, 1. I'm going to think about that one, Sparks, possibly. That was fun, but I was a little bit disappointed because I've played the first Mega Man a few times now, and I felt like the first Mega Man is more, you'll keep dying until you learn how to beat the stage, and that was more, if you happen to have the right weapon, or if you just happen to spam it, then you can brute force your way through. There was less, like, I don't feel like I've worked out any of the patterns of the bosses, all I did was try different weapons and then one of them would insta-kill it or like kill it in two hits. But the stages seemed more fun, more forgiven, but at the same time more variety. It's not the time to rank it anyway, but these are just some initial thoughts. So I don't really feel like I've earned the way to Dr. Wily's stage, though I just feel like I've chanced on it. The willy, the willy. <laughs> Alright. So, it's it's the time that everyone wasn't waiting for. It's nomination time! Even when I do well, I'm just a moaner. Yeah, it definitely does. That's true. The first game, going through the first game is a big help because you get you get a lot, not just for the way Mega Man controls, but the, for the way the enemies are and like the, the little quirks of the game. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So it's nomination time. It's just one nomination this week. It's just the normal open nomination. Nothing too confusing. So you can nominate whatever you like. 
We've got Boulder Dash from Sparks, Titanic from Hex, Chronicles of Mistara from 90, Flintstones from Walk, Slinky, what would you like to nominate? Okay, so that's very funny, Slinky, and everything, but <laughs> do you want to, like, write something in? Slinky um, was trying to nominate Mario 2 USA, so technically he can nominate. Are you... Is that a real nomination from you, Square? Repton. And Life Force, what's that? Sparks, you're also changing to Repton. You sure? Life Force is a shooter for the NES. Yeah, Jay will have won CC, as I'm sure you have yourself. It's all oh, white. I'm, I'm okay. I'm familiar with Repton. I haven't played it, but I've seen, I've seen it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Anyone else? Uh, I'm going to nominate Shinobi. Okay, okay. You know, also going for Shinobi. Good man. Good man. Right, so is there anyone else in chat who would like to throw a nomination into the ring before we draw? Five. Four. <laughs> three. Two. Okay, well don't don't worry about what version it is for now. Um we'll look into that. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Topway, do you want to nominate? You got in at the last second there. Have you got a nomination to make? Quick, Topway, come on. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just get in, man. All right. It's draw time then. Whatever comes up. Numbers 1 to 11, whatever comes out. This is it. It's real. Ah. Wait there. Ah. Nine. Oh. Stinky. Is life force just Gradius? Is it? Absolutely rigged. Absolutely stitched up. Oil rig. Oil ocean zone, mate. Is Salamander a port of, of Repton? Well, that's, that's beautiful. Okay. Okay, I'm going for a 10 minutes then. Thanks for nominating, guys. Appreciate it. Salamander's a port of Titanic. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a little ten minutes. Thanks for um taking the time to nominate. So the winner was Life Force, and that'll be on next Sunday. Um, when we come back, it's gonna be Metal Slug Two. In ten credits.
I'm thinking eight credits, but I think there are certain sections that are really hard. Leaving that norm there until it gets picked if you want to keep it doubled. <laughs> okay, acknowledged. Well, that's the, that's the thing. Like, I encourage you to form alliances. I think you definitely should. And uh, going forward, I'd be interested to see what kind of alliances and what kind of strategies get formed to try and ensure that get certain games come out. That's the whole point of being able to double up on that, is that if you all put your heads together, you can control the process. But yeah. All right, I'm going to go for a quick... Chat first. Oh, God, I know, I know. Chat plus Nightbot plus the quantum computer plus the game plus the, the system, the hardware plus Twitch itself versus Q. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> one day I haven't heard from Q or Sparks for a while anyone know anything about that <laughs> and then a few weeks later Sparks returns and carries on with his Mario Kart but that's that's it you know the quantum GP <laughs> Nah, he'd probably get away with it. Beep, babbity, boobity. Okay, I'll be back in 10 for Metal Slug 2. Get hype. Because it's got to be done in 10 or 8 credits. I don't, I haven't decided. See you in a minute.
What are you saying? Dwayne Dibley. Oh, nice one for the subscription again. You know, Jesus. And um, thanks for the good luck. And take care, mate. Boulder Dash 3D, Jesus Christ. That thing exists. Okay, that's a lot of text. I'm just going to trust that you are all saying nice things about me. But yeah, take care, you know. Thanks for the subs, mate. Have a good one. Dwayne Dibley. Oh, Tom, you missed nominations, mate, but you didn't win, so it's it's okay. Seventeen minutes. No, I haven't. I've been. These are bullies. These are all bullies. Been very quick. Whoa. It's really happening. Oh god, give me a second. Metal slug. Two. Sorry, bear with me. All the controls have gone weird. Metal slug. Two. Oh god, what's it doing? Okay. There we go. Just enjoy the sounds for a minute. Button one, there you go. Button two, there you go. Button three, there you go. Start. There we go. And then we just got a couple more things to set, and then we're done. Metal slug. 
Metal slug. It's poo. We picked it up. Let's grab it. Just a couple more things. No waste was that. Okay. Category. The last thing, I think. I've still got that Mega Man tune in my head. Time, a category, everything, everything. Metal Slug 2. <laughs> You're welcome, Slinky. You're welcome. My pleasure. So that was not me playing, no. Metal slow down too. It's it's gonna be epic. So I've got to do it in I want to say eight credits, but I think eight might be a little bit too short, and it's gonna go in the fail pool. But I think ten is definitely doable. Wonder if he's gonna figure out the video. What video? The video should be working now. In fact, it is working. Category should be fine. The timer. The timer is wrong. All right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do ten credits, okay? I'm gonna be a little bit. The computers let me be a little bit generous this one time, so we're gonna give myself ten credits. So there they are. Let's do this. This is real. Let's go. The timer is running. Auto fire is off. Tell Nomad. Tell Nomad. Auto fire is off. Get onto this music. It's fucking phenomenal. Yeah, I'm cycling through the characters. I'm going to get them all involved. It's hard to turn around on this sometimes. Class trait. <laughs> hey, I think that the working class doesn't engage in class war. It's the, it's the moneyed classes who do class war. The working classes just want equality and no prejudice. This is why positive discrimination doesn't really work as well, because it's it's just creating a a different dynamic for the war. I don't know the, what was up with the guy in the suit, but you can collect his briefcase, so I did. Yeah, this guy's cool. He does Hadoukens. I've got a little Hadouken pal now.
get onto that melody. Beautiful. I gotta say, this is some of the best pixel art that I've ever seen. Oh, and I turned the blood on, Tom, look. I've turned the blood on, because I know that you crave the blood. <laughs> Look at these camel graphics. Have you ever seen better camel camel graphics in any game? It's the same sound effect as when you collect a coin in Mario. There's the boss of level one. Yeah, I didn't even realize that the first time, but, but I remember Metal Slug 1 did have blood. So, I should have noticed earlier, really. Level one completed. Mission one. And I had all the prisoners rescued and the camel survived as well. That's gotta be world record performance. Four minutes to speed run. Look at all of these pixel graphics. Bats. When you stand next to these fellas, they start digging faster and then they find something. So I'm like the supervisor. There's a sign on, on the ceiling literally telling you the zombies here turn back. Typical demands an end to graphic violence in video games, so the devs literally just flip a colour bit and say done. Yeah, I mean, in like Germany, they'd have green blood in some games, and or like sweat instead. Which is literally, yeah, they'll just change the palette. I didn't really want um, the machine gun yet. I would have preferred to stay with the shotgun. But it's done now. The shotgun's still better than the pistol. Okay. Ah! It's still coming. You killed my mummy. <laughs> Don't say that. I would never do that unless she was an enemy in a video game and then I would do that. But other than that, I wouldn't do that. Uh oh. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Those aren't zombies, those are mummies. 
mummy zombies. Yeah, the shotgun is, is really good against them, though. It when they do when, when you get too close to them they won't shoot instead they do the knife but that can be fatal oh I wanted to collect the item that he gives you look at this zombie dude gives you a crystal a, a gem and that's 50,000 points and then explodes. Illuminati symbol, where? Flame shot. Flame shot. Fire graphics, da, 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 da. quest computed, fire flag, flame graphics. Da, 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 da. Did it? Quite nice flame graphics, actually. Bet different than the Metal Slug one. Flamethrower. Uh oh. Whoa. That soldier just killed himself. Yeah, I see it. I see it. You're absolutely right, Tom. You're absolutely right. Hieroglyphics aren't the Illuminati, but that is literally the Eye of Horus, also known as the Eye of the Illuminati Pyramid. Imho. You can't have an eye. Basically, if it's got an eye on it, it's an Illuminati symbol. Let's all be honest. Horus. Horus. Yes, you are, Slinky. It's about time you realised. Wake up, sheeple. Don't back seat, Mr. J. Lapson. You gotta let me miss it. <laughs> yeah, I gave the controller to Alice. Alice, don't say a word. I mean, no, you know, no, I never. All right, level two completed. This is epic. The Eye of Horus, Horus. 
Mission 3. Things are about to get hairy. Where's he going? Come back. I do love when you just hit them once and that's it. Dead. Am I right in saying that all the characters are the same, or is that wrong? Okay. I want the thing up here. Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. No, it didn't touch me, ref. Okay, so in different ga some other games they have differences, but in this one, they're the same. Oh god, he's he's, he's got a knife. Microphone? Did I do it? I didn't. Shut up. Uh oh. Look at all of this frame rate. Absolutely epic. Ralph and Clark from King of Fighters. Oh, I'm not that familiar with King of Fighters either. So basically what you're saying is I need to complete all of the King of Fighters games before I can play Metal Slug 6. Is that what you're saying? Okay, noted. See that zero? What does that mean? Every time you make that jump, it, it, it does zero points. And I've never knew what it's referring to. There's a trick. To get epic gamer points. <laughs> Deep in our hearts, we all know it's a lie. Oh, I was looking at chat. Fuck. If you make the jump when the two trains are at max distance apart, you get a bonus of 50k. Otherwise, you get none. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm disappointed about that life. Whoa. <laughs> are you proud of yourself, huh? Right, you, I've got to say, if you've never played Metal Slug, play it. I don't care what system you get it on, what Metal Slug it is that you play. Play this game, because there's... It's very fun to aim. 
the gun. It's just really fun. It sounds simple. Have you ever, Jay, have you ever seen this in the arcades? Or has anyone ever seen this in the arcades? Because I haven't. Yeah, it's same. But it really is next level sprite work. But it's a very fun, addictive game as well. It's not just, like, the graphics itself, I feel, could have potentially carried it. But it's much more than that. It's got great music as well. And great gameplay. Ref. Gas, I'll take it. One of the most ar stacked arcade streams with classic games. What? This channel? And I'm not even an arcade expert. I'm a noob. All the classics. Boulder Dash. Gallagher. Repton. We don't miss any out on this channel. Way. Okay. Oh, arcade mode in one night stream. Absolutely one of the best arcade modes we've had for definite. Most most times there's an absolute turd in the mix. Wouldn't go as far as to say it's turd, but to this tonight there's definitely been higher level, higher caliber than normal. Look at those background graphics. Look at these background graphics. Look at the street going off into the distance. They're all very different. But, but yeah. Like, Me Mega Man is a run and gun. But it's not. It's definitely not a run and gun like this is a run and gun. In a way, Mega Man is kind of like an in-between of the, of the other two. Because Mario is much more platform heavy. Metal Slug's much more gun heavy. And Mega Man's kind of in-between. I like the voices. I don't really want that rocket launcher. Can I jump over it? No. Nope. Oh, the grenades are coming in. Uh-oh. Whoa, how did that rocket launcher not get him? Oh, shit. You're not jumping through them. No way. Right, that's the first credit down. Isn't 
them shoons. Oh, I'm fat. Yeah, the metal slug though, it's like, it gets harder each, each level. You can normally, with a bit of practice, get through the first few levels. It's not too bad. Sort of similar to the bullet hells. They added an excellent vocal sample. Well, hopefully we can get through this tonight. And then we can... And then X will be up for selection then. Why am I fat? It's racist. Ah! Oh. That didn't touch me? How can it touch me when it's not touching me? Look at the plane in the background. Yeah, the fat death, you just you just disintegrate, you just sort of burst. Why won't this tank die? This prisoner's trying to get away. It stole that death for doom. What the, the sound of it? You mean? Or the best? Because I think there is an exact same audio sample in this that doom uses, but it's it's not that one stole from the other. It's just stock. It's like a stock audio sample. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. But there's a death like... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh god, this fucking big bullet hell thing's up already. He's gone back in. Uh oh. Ah! No, ref. Fuck you. There's the second credit. <laughs> it's coming too quick. Can't even get a, a one-liner in between. Oh, shit. It's all going to shit. Yes. Okay, two credits down. Not that happy about that, to be honest. Mission complete. Mission five. Mission five. Start. 
so I feel like I should have said eight credits but I'll say that now I'll probably lose all my credits on the next level Meat. Oh, what touched me? What touched me? Oh god. Okay. Too many of them. Oh god. Your eye on the prize, stay focused. How the hell that grenade didn't get him? And now I've got an unavoidable thing. Where am I? Another credit down. Four. cars in the background look at all of those graphics city in the background dead people in the foreground made the pig fly pigs can fly like this laser weapon I'm normally dead before I finish the bullets Bullet's gone. Wow. Never normally happens. Oh, train time. Oh my god. Be ridiculous. There's so many different variations of sprites as well and animations. That wasn't fair. Running out of bullets makes you not be able to attack for about 10 seconds. Oh, I 
hate these homing missiles. Dead. Fuck. Another credit down. This is getting heavy. This is not what I wanted. I want it die. Oh, another one. I think there's one more train. Bombs, yes, please. Oh, God. Laser. Frick yeah. Yeah, you can kind of tell that they like they don't take it too seriously and that they're having a laugh with it. There's loads of little details, little jokes, little references. Okay. Now here's Alien Town. Last week I didn't realize you could even use these switches. Oops, waste of a bomb. Don't you dare! Okay. Shotgun. Oh. Still alive, still going. No, no. Oh, he tried to cheat me then. See, this is the thing, because I've got a shotgun, which can kill several of, of them at once, but if one of them gets close enough to me, then instead of using the shotgun, I'll, I'll use a, a melee attack, and that means that they can get me. <laughs> yeah, the, if these were at green gore, that would make sense. Metal slug. Shotgun. And a shotgun. Oh my god. I don't know if that explosion at the bottom of the bomb, where the cannon lands, if that... I think it damages enemies. It does. I thought so. It shoots quite far up, far up as well. Oh, that gas, I didn't need it. That what they... Do you hear that sound then? 
that's off Doom. Well, it's it's also in Doom. This 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 cannon in handheld form. Uh oh. They got me. Oh shotgun. This is useless. See if I could get out the way of that. Yes. Whew. No prisoners, sad story. So it's the last stage now. If I can't do it in five credits, then we're going to restart from the beginning. Oh god, this level is tough. I hate these. Ah, see, it homes in on you even if you crouch. You can't avoid a death except for not existing in the first place. Isn't this the classic Metal Slug music? Didn't touch me? Alright, I think if a rocket gra uh, grazed against your shoelace, then that would. That would probably kill you. Didn't. Whoa, how could he turn in midair? Normally they can't do that. That is so addictive to do. Oh, I hate this bit. I love the graphics of it, but it's hard. You got the homing missiles that can't be dodged. Run out of bullets. Here he is. Come on, boy. I pressed jump and I got ignored. Hate it. Rip. 
How big is that machine gun? This is not the same machine gun, I'm telling you. Styles. Whoa, we didn't even see what got me. I thought he was dead. I thought you were dead. I didn't even see that one either. I'm starting to lose track of where the attacks are coming from. See ya. Right, I've been here in Final Fantasy VII. I wanted the machine gun and I didn't get it. Ooh. That's nice. Alien ship, UFO. The tank crushed me. Shit, should have should have realized. Can you just go away? Mm. Alright, we're getting to the point where their projectiles are faster than I can move, so I've just gotta not be where they are. Blood screen. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Tom, I always believed in it and those mates. Censorship for the masses. See that little knife come out the side of the screen then, the sneak. Definitely former humans, mate. Actually, yeah, it sort of does, doesn't it? I didn't think of it. I just took that as a joke, but, but now that I think about it, yeah, it does. Oh, I didn't really want this. <laughs> yeah, no one would even know. about the secret experiments that went on if they played the censored version that's very satisfying to kill them and make them make that noise Laser. 
Same noise as the Hive Half-Life Doggo. Is it actually? Oh my god, it is, yeah. Or oh, it's very similar. I was watching some meme the other day and um, it, it had that dog noise. You know, when it starts to charge up, the sort of. And I was just like, I would never have got that joke if I didn't play Half Life. Now I get jokes. Fuck off. How did that bullet get through where every other bullet didn't? Okay, we're getting down to the wire here, guys. <laughs> Wherever anyone mentions Half-Life in the world, Topoi gravitates towards it. He doesn't know why. All he knows is that that's where he ends up. How did I get here? Someone must have mentioned Half-Life. I pressed the jump button. Going to shit, man. <sighs> Sitting duck. Fuck. We're blowing it. That was so, so stupid. I'm fuming. I played well on the first, like, four or five levels. Now I'm playing atrocious. I think I already told myself that message, Jay. But, thanks. Heavy machine gun. Okay, here we are, the last boss. Just to break everyone's heart and die right at the end. It's Quantum Hitler. The aliens killed Quantum Hitler? The aliens are on our side. Oh wait, no. The aliens have abducted Quantum Hitler. Maybe he's gone back home. Maybe he's one of them. Oh god. And we're fucked. There's too many of them. No. Oh. Didn't touch me. 
I had a few pixels left of space. Definitely fucked it now. Why won't you die? Ah, oh, I did. It did. Easy to finish this section on four credits when this starts. Yeah, you got a dream. Right, I've got two lives. I'm not gonna do it. Three lives, I mean. Laser. Laser. See, look, the army and that are on my side now. I mean, the enemies, the enemy soldiers. And now I'm on Team Q. Heavy machine gun. Didn't really want that. Metal slug. Oh, I just blew it up right away, pressing the fucking jump button at the same time. I always do that. What a tit. No. Absolutely fucked it, mate. And it's the last life. Got myself penned in here. Nowhere to go. <sighs> One more go. Bonus credits. Bonus credits. Okay, but I'm only allowed one. I'm only allowed one. So no one else use it. If you can, don't. Okay. I done it. I was close. And a nice kamikaze attack right at the end. So I was only a couple of, a few hits away. Look at the background, burn and graphics. And now the <laughs> quantum Hitler. <laughs> Thanks for the GG, guys. Really good.
Mission really good. Complete. Oh my god. I killed the time traveling quantum Hitler. I feel like he'll be back. I feel like he'll be back. <laughs> Thanks very much for the bit, Slinky. That's that's a lot of money. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, mate. I killed him in this reality. It's true. <laughs> Thank you also, J Lab, J Lab, J Labson. Thanks very much. There's never too much money for killing Hitler. True, true. Quest complete square. We were allowed one bonus credit, which Slinky redeemed. And it only took like two bombs and a few shots after that. And it was dead. I did a few really silly things. <laughs> Thanks very much, Square. I use it all very generous and supportive. See, first half of the stream, you are all shitting on every move I made, and I was I was I was like rah. And then second half of the game, everyone's lovely. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. I definitely made a few absolute well, quite a lot of rookie errors, but I did feel like I played well for the most part. But that's what pisses you off even more, isn't it? Because on these low credit runs of the arcade games. Didn't use like any bombs for like eight lives. I think I was saving them, but what's the point in saving them if you're gonna die? The future is now. 1998. SNK. I'm a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to, aren't I? But I'm a little bit disappointed there because I think with a second run I could have done it in less. Two. But yeah, thanks very much. Take the win and run. Fair play. Fair play. Okay. Yep, you're probably right. Sometimes I am too difficult, even on me on myself. So I suppose let's rank it then. I don't feel prepared for this. Quest status. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, so, wait. Mario. Did we do any quests in Mario? In Mario, we found water graphics. And we found fire. Did we find fire graphics in Mario? Oops, that's an X. Bowser spits fire. Fire flower. Yeah. Did we examine them, though? There was definitely fire. Let's just say we did. Okay, that's Mario. What was next? Mega Man. No examination occurred. Fish do fly, but they're not flies. Mega Man. We saw... Again... Water and fire. Gotta adjust the <laughs> principles of reality. Adjust them more than they're already adjusted. Blind fish and Cooper's counts. I'm afraid they don't slink. Much as much as I, I get where you're coming from, but that's to stretch too far. The computer will tan my ass. Okay, so metal slug. <laughs> Metal Slug Definitely fire graphics A lot of explosions Water graphics Were present as well Illuminati Gotta be flies around the camel Probably was and we only have to encounter them deep, but I can't say for certain that there was. 
Yeah, didn't see them. Where were the water graphics? Um, the bit where the, you know, the fella, you know, come on, boy, when you kill him, he falls, and then, like, a whale eats him. And there's another boss where, like, all water comes out the ground as well. Um. Okay. Oh, and find and stop the tra time traveling quantum Hitler. We we stopped him in this realm. Who was Steve? Whoever is Steve? Steve is is a state of mind. Can we get a jingle for Hitler? <laughs> We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Quest completed. Let's thwart the time traveling quantum Hitler. But the problem with time traveling quantum Hitler is that he comes back. He always comes back. You can't ever permanently stop him. There probably does need to be a better th fanfare, but I haven't got it ready. I have. Oh wait, we've got this one. We've got this one, which I made myself. I made this soundscape myself that you're about to hear using chopped up sound effects from the Sonic Two sound test. Okay, I made this soundscape. <laughs> This is the end of the world. <laughs> that was my sound effect for the end of the world, made from chopped up sound, Sonic 2 sound test. I actually used that in the time split when we lost Steve on Chrono Trigger. Yeah, I don't think it really does, but I haven't got much else. Um, we could... There's this one. <laughs> Showdown's happy. I think Showdown's happy because she knows Quantum Hitler will be reborn in another timeline. Uh, oh, we've also got this one. Thumb up. I'm just playing some sounds for you. Just wanted a sound. You just wanted a jingle for um. <laughs> you wanted a jingle for Quantum Hitler, but I haven't got many re any ready, so that's all I can offer. I'm afraid. Back to ranking anyway. That's Sonic. It doesn't matter how old you get, how how much time you put between the last ta game of Sonic you've had and now. Anytime you hear that, it will induce anxiety. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Metal Slug 2. So, difficult. I think the slowdown is the slowdown's pretty bad but at the same time it doesn't really halt the gameplay that much like it kind of certain sections when there's a lot going on it kind of helps a little bit yeah yeah but there's so much shit happening that I feel like I don't know. I liked the locations better. I think it wasn't so much easier than the first one. Maybe it was easier than the first one, but I don't think it was that much easier. I just think that I'm a fucking incredible Metal Slug player now. Don't think you can give a game credit for a performance problem unintentionally helping you. But I don't think... 
I don't think it was that problematic either. Like, I don't think it really affected my enjoyment that much. I thought it had more variety to it. At worst, you need to ignore the slowdown. Can't give credit for it. Well, I can, because it is it is what it is, whether it was intended to be there or not. No, I'm not giving credit for it. But I don't think it was, yeah... I don't think the slowdown made it better, but I don't think it hurt it as much as... As much as I was expecting, anyway. Or even not much at all. Okay, give me a second. Metal Slug. Metal Slug 2 stats. Oh, I forgot to... I didn't do the Metal Slug 2 stats properly. So it was... 105 deaths total. And it was... 2 hours, 6 minutes total. Ooh, this is tough. This is tough. I think I might have preferred it to Metal Slug 1, but it is very close. Yeah. I think I actually may have preferred it. But there's really not much in it, so it's probably going to come in at 9th. Just going to squeeze in ahead of Metal Slug 1. Now I'm thinking, is it better than Super Mario Brothers? I kind of think if you took them standalone side by side, then yet it is. And if you take away all historical context, then yet it is. But if you try and factor in the importance of history and video games, which I do try and factor in, and I have ranked based on that criteria as well, then it probably isn't. Will you rank? I protected Stephen Chrono Trigger and then we saw what happened. We all saw it. Okay, let's rank. Let's rank before Tom gets angry. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. All right. Metal Slug 2B or not to be. Yeah, I think I think I think this is fair. There's not much difference between it and and uh, Metal Slug 1 for me. But I think it slightly edges it. More interesting environments, weapons, situations, music, but very close. And and three new characters to play with. Oh well, two, two actually. So what you don't like, Tom? Tom. <laughs> I see what you're saying. I love you now, mate. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Jay. What's your opinion? How do you feel? As the as the slug expert. I think the slowdown on Metal Slug 2 is very bad, but I don't it didn't really harm my enjoyment. And if you take the slowdown out of it, I think two had more 
to add more going for it. <laughs> for a slug lover. <laughs> Wasn't there any slugs on Animal Quest? We need to get Insect Quest. Find and examine metal slugs. Are metal slugs hurt by salt? That's a question. Commander Keen has got slugs. Big slugger. Okay. Get rusty. Forty five games we've played well completed and ranked. Give yourself three hearts and play girls and ghosts to teenage teenage and teenage turtles. Turtles takes at least two and a half hours to get to the end of. But also the uh, next game in the list. We're going in, in list order so that I have time to prep and know what I'm getting into. So. <laughs> Go ahead, mate. Thank you very much. Incredible. Incredible snipe. Thanks for the bits. Play ball at Shut up, Tom. <laughs> or try and finish the third world in the lost levels. So. Let's see. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh my god. Seven hearts again. <laughs> guys, guys, come on. I'm not even producing any content right now. Yeah, that's why we like it. I think Sparks' idea is the best one. Try and get further in, in lost levels. Suck on the, these bits. <laughs> Lads, come on. I'm very, very appreciative. But uh, you don't need to prove yourselves to anyone, okay? Oh, God. That's true, Tom. I'm just a hypocrite. Everything I say is bullshit. Haven't you figured it out by now? Thank you very much, both of you. All of you. You are incredibly generous, and I really do appreciate it, and it means a lot. Pretty fuck for a game in the demo to have a thing of death. Like, I know. I think I'm going to do like another half an hour. 40 minutes. I'll do until half, half 12. AIDS mushroom <laughs> graphics. One sec, gang. Ah! Why is there a giant green thing? 
Okay, mate. Oh yeah. Fuck, that was a that was a that's a that takes me back. Muff smells. <laughs> uh what is life? Okay, we're carrying on. This is live, this is go. Come on. Uh oh. Oh, GQ crew. Do you, does Muff smell? <laughs> There's a girl who I watch sometimes who does like um, different quiz questions on this stream. And you have to like know the answer by following the stream. And if I did that, it'd be something like that. Yeah, that'd be my attempt at the equivalent. So, today's question Does Muff smell? Yep, we've had our positivity time. Now it's time to just watch me play terrible. <laughs> I could have done Metal Slug. Unless... If you all have believed in me... Muff. Such a random thing to have, though, isn't it? Like, muff smell. I mean, sorry if you've just come into the chat and I'm saying that. Um, if you know still on, I'm going to raid him, mate. But if not, then possibly. Whoa! Oh, look at that. Landed right on top of the pipe. The flag. Dr. Orichi. Orochi. On these levels, being big is a bit of a hindrance. Oh, category. You didn't even tell me. You're getting... You're slipping. He didn't even tell me. I had to think myself. Richie's from King of Fighters. See, I played Fatal Fury 1 on the Mega Drive a lot. I think I rented it a few times. And then I played Fatal Fury 2 in the arcades. Quite a bit. But beyond that, I don't think I played them. King of Fighters was like after Fatal Fury, wasn't it? It was like a... It was based on this... Did Fatal Fury just evolve into King of Fighters or did they stay separate? Okay, you can't jump on the turtles while you're swimming. On the Koopas. Does he just jump back and throw fireball? Truly an honourable, masterful warrior if he does. Well, you can't land on it, I mean. Okay, I see. So after King of Fighters came out, there was no Fatal Furies after that kind of thing. Oh, nice time's definitely finished, doesn't it? to the end of the level, Slink. What about you? You'll notice one major difference graphically, apart from the, these, this, this, apart from this terrain that I'm on. Another graphical difference, other than the clouds, is the, um, there's a shadow on the text at the top of the screen. Incredible. Hmm. Oh shit. Why? Why? 
I wasn't paying attention. King of Fighters 13. Christ. <laughs> A lot of people say that Assassin's Creed 2 is really good, regardless of what you might think of the modern ones. I haven't played any of them. And I feel like Fatal Fury 2 wasn't as good as Street Fighter 2, but it still had its... Fatal Fury 1 was a bit janky and a bit shit, but Fatal Fury 2 I thought was good. Wasn't Street Fighter 2 good, but it was good. Alright, so we need to figure this out. Top, middle, then that one, then that one. Oh, I forgot the mushroom. Stage! The stage is wrong! I hope there's not going to be loads of these puzzles in this game. Kinda liked one, but not really two. Oh, that's unusual opinion. I don't see that. I haven't played them really, so I can't comment. But most people I speak to seem to say that one is not bad, but two is where the series really gets into its stride. That was pathetically idiotic, and I'm sorry. I'm never going to figure it out, no. Well, I'm, I, I haven't given up yet, though. Let me get the fire flower. See if this was if this was the SNES on the one on, on All Stars, then it would make a noise like uh -uh, or ba -ding. I wonder if I go down there do I die? Yeah, I'm not really into that type of cinematic stuff. Alright, let's try out Slinky's theory. Slinky, shut up. We'll try being small and running across the bottom. Stage is going to stay wrong. I mean, to be fair, I normally leave the stage. What the hell? What the hell? I've never, ever, ever done that in Super Mario Bros. 1. Ever in my life. I've never seen anyone die like that. This is what I'm trying to say. Is it... 
the emulator maybe? Or is it just, is, have they made some tweaks to the gameplay? But I've played a lot of the, of like, Super Mario Bros. 1, I've played to death. And I've never seen that. when the shell went over the edge. I don't... Yeah, but... I'm sure I would have encountered that scenario several times in my life. Oh, my God. Whatever. I'm not going to dwell on it. It's happened. I wish I hadn't done that, Nightbot. Believe. Believe. Welcome back, Sparks. It's after five. Do you... Have you... Uh, it's Monday tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? That's the way I always factor it in. And also... Unless it's a proper social occasion, I just prefer to smoke now. I think if you're drinking, I mean, if, you, if you're socialising, drinking is definitely better. But if you're just chilling to yourself, I personally prefer to smoke. Is this socialising? I think it, it, it is actually, yeah. But not for much longer. <laughs> I was definitely not going off the edge myself. Well, I'll have to, to rewatch it anyway. I don't know. I don't think I was. Yeah, it's a shell. I don't think you get that death animation if you go off a cliff, do you? I think it's just the fact of it, it let me catch up to the shell. That's that's all I think it is. Like if I was running, I don't think I would be able to. Whoa! Cronky! Cronky! Get in here! What's happening guys? Welcome to another 2D nightmare platformer. We got the Cronky crew. Who are familiar with Rayman, the hellish platformer? Well, this is another one. Mario Lost Levels. Oh, God. Yeah, I think I just ran into the shell from behind, and I think the only reason I could catch it is because it lost some speed when it went off the edge of the cliff. I think that's what happened. Yeah, Rayman, I've been Rayman the Coot. I've been playing Crash Bandicoot uh, through the week, Monday to Friday, blind, but I completed it on Friday, but I'm going to be trying 100% on Monday. Going to be trying to get every box Monday. All right, so Slinky's Theory is run across the bottom. The first one. <laughs> Thanks very much. Kronk. Oh, cheers for the follow. Oh, this is different. This is different. I've never played it before really either, and I've heard it's very hard. 
Okay, so that definitely worked. Slinky, you banned. Okay, so that was wrong. What's happening, bang mate? What have you done? I did finish it, but I'm going to be playing it again on Monday because we're going to be trying trying for 100 boxes, so don't worry. There's still a bit more crash to go on Monday. Wait, you know has got 98 viewers? Really? Who's putting Tesla to shame? Oh, on, on uh, Sonic. Yeah, Kronk or the or the Rayman gang. If you if you like Rayman because of how hard of a 2D platformer it is, then this is this is your next one. The Lost Levels. Oh, you've seen Tesla with like 50. I think my record is um, I'm mostly chat and slink. In case you didn't notice. I think my record's like 40. It's very scary. That's the thing about, about Rayman is he's very tight. He, he stops when you release the controller. Except for on snow levels, where he definitely doesn't. Okay, I feel like that's the wrong path again. Yeah, he does. He, he's very tight to control. Same for NST. Sorry, what's NST? Oh God, run out of time. not the bottom or at least it's not it, it's the way I'm approaching it I think fuck you I haven't played the insane trilogy but bang made has been saying uh, it does control very different and I could feel I had a little go the other day and I could feel it have world records a crash oh insane trilogy you're a world record holder of insane trilogy oh my god i want you to know that i pressed jump at least three times then tell that to me family okay You know what, Square? Alice was saying this as well. Alice got one last night. No, on Friday night, 2 a.m. To say that I went live. Not following at all, Sparks. Did I say there wasn't? Still not following? Ooh. 
wouldn't call it shock mates would call it um showing respect showing excitement Yeah, well, I mean, I've witnessed Cronky's talents for myself. That guy can play, especially that video where he was where he was doing um. Can you beat Rayman without helicopter here? Sleep streaming. Imagine that. I just like woke up. Well, didn't even wake up. Just started pressing pressed start stream while I was asleep. There's a lot of current on this compared to Mario 1. Yeah, imagine that I just started sleep streaming, completed the game, whatever game I was playing, completed it. Anyone watching? This can't, this isn't cute. Video turned into a speedrunning category. What? No, no helicopter here. I thought you couldn't do it, or is it just taking out the ones that you can't do on? Because it was funny the way you were like, um... so you can't complete, you can't complete Rayman without helicopter here. But if you remove all of the things that stop you from being able to do it, then you can. <laughs> if you don't count all of those things. <laughs> But a few times you got like so far into it and then you were you stopped and, and you were like created drama like I think this is it, I don't think we can do this bit. I was like, what he got this close? Oh my fucking god. I know, the height of the spring. Alright, sorry, I'm gonna concentrate. Everyone's having me off. We've got too many world record holders in the chat, that's what it is. And a national record holder as well. No, don't apologise, I'm just kidding. I'll tell you when I want you to apologise. <laughs> ask, ask these. <laughs> apologise? No. the Hammer Brothers, but you know, a fear like that, you've got to respect it, I'm trying to think of a Rayman equivalent to the Hammer Brothers that like just cause fear, Rev, you absolute twat, fastest game over in Rayman probably, I don't think uh, the likes of Kronky and, and uh, Rayman Dekut are interested in those sorts of records. Green Moth is a good one. I hated him. Is that the one where you've got to crouch and then you punch past him and then and then it gets him back on the way round? Like you, you go to punch him and he just crouches under it. you do a mixed time split for the next attempt what do you you can do on me but what do you mean by a mixed time split so you just if you hit your head you're dead you can't hit your head because you bounce all the way back to the floor I 
don't get too close to the bottom. <sighs> what do you have in mind, Sparks? The only strat I could figure out to deal with that moth is to shoot your fist past him and then crouch. And as you crouch, your fist will come back to you slightly lower and it seems to clip him. That's the only thing I could figure out. He, he killed me a lot of times before I even figured that out. Have 11 or 22 coins at the end of 3-1 and hit the flag with the timer ending in 1 or 2, depending on the number of coins. Well, that's a bit complicated, that sparks. You do realise who you're talking to, don't you? I'll try, mate. I'll try. Sounds like I might have to count. And you might be thinking, yeah, you've only got a count of two. But I'm, I'm, I'm still worried. confused it was part of the game. <laughs> oh, we still got the wrong icon up? No! The wrong icon? How would we let this happen? We're meant to be gamers. Whoa! An anonymous gift? Thank you very much. Icon Square! <laughs> It was that way through Metal Slug 2. It was supposed to be that way for Metal Slug 2. <laughs> Thank you very much for the subscription. Whoa, Infinity, Infinite Synchron is now following. Thank you. We're all gonna die together. I want the mushroom. What's going on? Can I do it this way, Slink? Another subscription? Thank you very much, anonymous gifter. I think I've fucked it, mate. Yeah, so you guys now have got the lovely Player 2 badge next to your name. Rip. So yous are essentially Player 2 now. high quality gameplay that you're witnessing. Fucking hell. Last life. Oh, I feel ashamed. This is only because you're all watching. You're putting pressure on me. All right, Sparks. So what was Sparks' request again? So... Is... Thank you again for the subscription. This is... Is it too much, honestly? Uh, you've, you've seen the standard of gameplay. What's going on here? When I first started streaming, I, keep, I kept reading in Reddit... You're not going to get anywhere unless you're a god gamer. I was like, well, I'm definitely not one of them. Who is the who who is this a non I don't know. I honestly don't. I've got me suspicions. Okay, so what's Sparks saying? Have 11 or 22 coins at the end of the 3-1 and hit the flag with the timer ending in 1 or 2. Okay. So Part one of this quest is get 11 or 22 coins. Part one is get to the end of the level. Alive. Part two. Okay. Time split mode activated.
points in advance. I slips the points across the table. I trust this is satisfactory. And then I slip the points into me pocket. I'm sure we can work something out. Mario swimming in peace. Okay, so... 11 or 22. I'm gonna go for 11, because that's less numbers to have to count. Oh, wait, there's none. Wait, I've already fucked it. <laughs> I thought there might be more coins. There's not that many coins. Seven. Nine. So that death was on purpose. Don't worry about it. There's no more coins, I don't think. It's a coin shortage, mate. Alright, we're going to have to do this. We're in time split, Slink. So I don't give a frick. No! Oh! Whoa! I used the mushroom as a jump boost? There's only... I think that's it for coins. There's... I can get ten. Hmm. I did, well, I didn't know that. Any of these pipes? Oh! Delete channel. I want to delete the channel, please. Please let me delete the channel. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> right. Oh, we, we had it and we went past it. Can you get any more stupid? Delete channel, delete me. Pipe! Fucked it, mate. <laughs> oh, okay, I, I've rescued it. I've rescued it. I've just got to get to the end of the level without collecting a coin and without dying. Easy. Where's the Coopers? Part one of the quest. Done. Okay, so it's got to end. So we, you want it to end on two. The timer just needs the last digit to be on two. Is that what you're saying? <sighs> I'm stressed. So the last digit, so like two, two, seven, two.
speaking of time. <laughs> Chances I botched the time, 99%. So, Sparks, am I right? That just the last digit has to say two. The first and second digit, the 10 and the... Save state for time split. Okay. Two. Last digit, two. I mean, you're saying two, but, but you're not saying which digit needs to be two. I got an extra life, I think. And I got the fireworks. So did I get a one-up because? One step ahead of your square. So did I get that one-up because of that? Shut up, Slinky. Shut up. So, it, is that a way of farming lives, basically? Oh, God. It's a near impossible strat. Can't be that impossible if I've just done it. I know it took me several goals and save states and shit like that, but... <laughs> Slinky. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. Go for a jog or something. <laughs> Watson wants you. <laughs> AIDS mushroom consumed. AIDS confirmed. If it's not a... I'll keep it in mind for lives, but yeah, probably not. I'll have to keep an eye on coins, because I reckon landing on the flag wouldn't be too difficult. It's the coins thing. No! It's late at night. I'm going to ban time split mode if you just can't be fair about it. If you're just going to wind me up about it because I pressed it like a second before, then I'll just stop it altogether. But I'm not going to stop it altogether. I'll just ignore your bullshit is what I'll do. <laughs> okay, well, I think I think it's best if we just time, ban time split then. Because that's what people tend to use it for, is to see if there's an advantage can be gained. You killed... You, you had fun. You had a fun little thing going. And you destroyed it. This is why we can't have nice things. I hate the fucking bottom of the water. As long as you don't mind that I'm just not going to pay attention to any of it, then it doesn't bother me. But if you actually expect that I'm going to start, like, adding deaths and shit, because I didn't press time split at the right second, then no. Okay, cool. Look what you're doing to the gameplay. Look, look at yous. 
Alright. Let's play properly now. I'm just going to pretend chat doesn't exist. <laughs> no, that'd be sad as well. I think I thought I was invincible. Because the star existed, I just felt like it's okay. Enemies can't hurt me now, the star exists. AIDS mushroom. <laughs> I love that you can jump mid-air strategy when you land on an item. Oh, fuck that. That's twice it's got me. I honestly don't think that's in the first Mario. Yeah, I've never seen that before in all my time playing Mario, and now I've seen it twice. It's not in the normal game. I've definitely ran off a ledge after kicking a shell hundreds of times. Took up the item slot. Can only two items be on screen at once? You can mush jump in the first as well. Okay, I'm not... But you can't, but the, the shell's going off the, off, the, off the ledge is what I'm talking about. I've definitely followed a shell off a ledge on Mario 1. I want to try that now, but I reckon I definitely have. I didn't know that about power only one power up at a time, though. Only works if you're going downwards, too. I don't think I was going downwards. I love that chat. Yeah, but I'm pretty certain I've ran off of, off, I mean, not ran off a ledge. I've kicked a shell off a ledge and then I've kicked a shell towards a ledge and then followed it. And I've never, in any permutation, led to a death. I mean, it makes sense what's happening. I understand it from a game point of view. I just feel like that doesn't happen in the original. Or I've never known it to happen in all my years. And it's happened twice on this. And it's not a particularly unusual piece of scenery. You know, cliffs and like that are all over the first game. Yeah, I mean, it's not hard to understand basically what's happening. I don't even think that's it. I think what it is, is when the shell goes off the cliff, it loses its speed. If you chase a shell and you run after it, you'll never be able to catch it because you run at the same speed that the shell travels at. It's only when it went off the edge of the cliff that it lost some speed and I was able to catch up to it. So all that's happening is that I'm getting hit by a shell because I've caught up to it because it lost some speed. I get that, that's fine. But I just feel like I would have encountered that scenario hundreds of times playing Mario 1. Oh, yeah, one item at a time. Ref. So, yeah, you could see it there. When it goes off the edge of the cliff, it loses its forward momentum. And that's what lets me catch up to it. And when I touch it, 
The game doesn't care that we're both travelling in the same direction. The game just goes, he's touched the shell. He should be dead. Oh, oh square, you absolute gobshite. Look what you're doing to me. I'm going to have one credit after this, one proper credit. I don't know why, because I'm just going to get to that castle again and then get fucked over. Slanky! The new job crew. these goodies oh I took a gamble on an invisible vine took a gamble and won one big invisible what's that what You'll be made up, Tom. Oh, why did I do that? I thought it was finished. Land exactly on the pole. Yeah. Just like old times. practice. No, Slinky, you need to let your boss know in the interview that you're willing to do everything the company needs to, to ensure success, but, you, but there is one red line. And that is, you've got to have... Well, you need to ask for a second... You need to ask for a, a, an extra interview. Sorry about the interview. I know it, it went really well in that, but there was just a few things I needed to clarify. <laughs> Maybe they can save you somehow, yeah? I can see Slinky making a few mates in his new job. Starts hanging out at the bar with the cool guys. After a few weeks, I bump into Slinky. Hey, haven't seen you at the stream for a while, Slink. But Slinky's with his new cool mates now. He's like, stream? <laughs> what stream? I wouldn't go on a stream with those losers. <laughs> Am I right, guys? And all the guys in the background are like, <laughs> losers. And I'm like, what? Slinky used to be the biggest fan of the stream. Streams are for losers. Am I right? No new friends. Slinky, I don't recognize that name. It'll be like, um... Who was it? Oh, skill. In the Bible. Was it Judas? Peter? There's one who denies knowing Jesus, yeah. When get gets asked, I don't think it's Judas. Didn't already tell them. Most jobs ask you to require any comment. Peter denied Christ three times. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm on about, yeah. Slinky will deny me three times. Okay, so the first... Oh my Christ. The first way is the bottom, for a fact. 
what's the second way? I'm glad you enjoy it. <laughs> okay. The mushy doesn't appear now, though, does it? Oh, I see what you mean. It's not the second way, it's not the bottom row there. Let's try the middle. No. Maybe now the middle. Now the top. Oops. No. Okay, I think I fucked that though by falling through. Let's try this again. No. Okay, so it's not that way. Let's try. I don't feel like this is gonna do it, but... No. Ah! Give me a hint, like, I don't want a proper blatant, I don't want to be told, and I don't want a really obvious hint, but at the same time, this is not really figure outable. Hidden blocks. That's, that's not a bad hint, okay, leave me to play with that one for a bit, for the next 15 half seconds. Last credit. I'm going to bed. That's correct, Square. So your jump is you have to do a, your, your jump has to be perfect, you can't double tap it. Oh, good credit this, innit? You're doing really well. Whoa, the star lost its head then. That was on the frame then. Or is it the frame when you collect it or the frame when you s finished collecting it? Excellent credits. World record. Nothing really. Oh, you. You knew it was going to happen, didn't you? Oh. That's why I didn't go down that pipe. Huh. 
Oh. Oh, did I miss the pipe? Shit. Oh, that was terrible, that jump. Oh, no. Really bad jump there. Sorry, guys. Meant to go in the pipe. Oops. Whoa. No. <laughs> Story of me life. Oh, it's still... It's, it can get worse. Wait there. It's not finished. satisfying is it when you do a jump like that and you get them all it's happened to me like three times in my life honest smash the kid see ya the fuck's this no <laughs> Mario Lost Levels has got fucking warps. It's got more warps than it's got actual exits. You greasy idiot. Alright, this is my last life. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. I've got work tomorrow. I love yous. A bit. Oh god. No, at the beginning of the stream it was a pipe, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, the pipe brought me to that warp, yeah. But that time I went over the flag, which took me to that warp as well. Every, every single diversion that you take is going to fuck you, basically. I'm done. I'm done. I ain't got nothing left. Thank you very much for chilling with me, guys. Really appreciate your company. And the banter. And the jokes. Some of them especially really funny big thumb up um and thanks for the millions and millions of bits and subscriptions anonymous gift there whoever you are i see you and i appreciate you thanks again slinky bang made thanks for being here everyone thanks for being here um hmm. What's Dr. Orochi playing? What game is he playing? Some retro junk. Yeah. Good choice. Okay. I'm off, guys. I'll be back tomorrow for more Crash Bandicoots. We're going to be trying 400 boxes. We're not going to be succeeding, but we're going to be trying. Um, thanks again for chilling with me and all the support. See you next time, hopefully, and have a good night. Take care next and have a good start to the week. Peace out. Schedule? What? I don't know. Bye bye.
everyone give you know loads of support and follows and likes and bits and subs because he's a he's a smashing lad and he's a big sonic the hedgehog fan okay bye bye good night people take care